Greetings and welcome back to Factorio. I'm Catherine of Sky and I am here with Nilaus and we are fighting against the biters. How are you Hello. today? I'm fine. Just uh, having fun with the biters. No, not yet. Um, <laughs> not yet. We, we there, you mentioned no. the base up north and I'm like, yeah, that's looking scary up there. Yeah. Uh, we are moving in that direction now. I mean, I mean I'm not going to, I'm hesitant about calling it secured, but we've worked on on the base in the yeah you did the massive amounts with that wall wow that's very impressive are we going to put uh, um, gonna keep us the uh the dragon's teeth around that as well uh we should <laughs> i heard a sigh <laughs> yeah uh, not just yet not just i yet. don't think it's yeah it's probably said, not it's, necessary is, yet uh, yeah, for the behemoth biters, and let's not assume that behemoth biters are going to come our way just, just now. Mm -hmm. Let's actually take a look at the science. Oh, you're feeding the science once in a while, I guess. Yeah, every now and again I am, yeah. Running. Okay, I think that everything there in the middle of the temporary thing has run out of copper. And we have a ton of copper, so I'll just fill it up. Put my entire inventory into a random chest. Okay. Okay. So my plan for this episode is to build some steel. Okay. Because we need it for for our piercing ammo. Mm hmm. As soon as we have the steel up and running, but I might be able to start the furnace thing. Yeah, that sounds like a good plan. I'm hoping that the science will complete soon-ish, so we can get that sorted. I am right now working on um, the mall, the belt array, soon to become the mall, hopefully, one day. Um, and it's going really well. I'm actually almost done and ready to start connecting it shortly. Good. Okay. Some chests meat I'm gonna put one chest out of its misery see everyone it has only half health but I don't want to use a repair pack on it because <laughs> wood's a lot cheaper than the repair packs that's for sure oh yeah that's true I really think of uh, things like that okay so this uh, this steel thing Mm -hmm. Just have to build it that clever way with uh, teaching half the belt. I love that way. I don't know. It's that, that part where you can take the half of a belt inside an underground underground belt and then thereby filtering it. I love oh. that. Uh, well, that's interesting. I tend to build mine um, with the double furnaces. Have you tried that yeah. way where they direct feed? Yes. Okay. But then you don't do... You need coal in two places, right? Yeah, but it's okay. I just do like a central belt. Okay. I can I can plunk one down if you want to see it. Um, now I'll just build this one. Okay. It's in my blueprints book for early game. It's called Steel Early Game. I really like it that you have a blueprint book with different themes in it. It's really nice. <laughs> I've tried to organize them as best as I can because otherwise yeah. it's just a million of them and they're hard to sort through. Yeah. Okay, let's get this going. I'm almost ready to hook it up. Yay! And then hopefully it works. Oh, of course it'll work. I might have forgotten an inserter here or there, but who cares, right? <laughs> no, it'll work. Okay, this one, there, there. That one goes there. I usually find that, I mean, I often find that I build something and then I make an assumption and when I just hook the, everything up, it's like, oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Whoops, gears. I forgot that one thing, right? Yeah, yeah I do the same so, thing often. <clears throat> okay, let's get these guys here. That's some acute lack of iron in these furnaces. <laughs> wow. Yeah, I... um. I built two miners 
I can bring them down soon. Okay. Yeah, I appreciate it. We need a few of those. Okay. By the way, are you, do you hear that noise? Yes, <laughs> uh, I do. <laughs> okay. I uh, that's my cat snoring. <laughs> okay. First of all, like am I, I should wake her noises? up. <laughs> I'll grab her real quick. Maggie Bay. Okay, come on, my kitty. There you go. Wake up, sunshine. Have a nice time. She's like giving me this look like, okay, really? You just woke me up for what purpose? Oh, yeah, boy. <laughs> there a piece of food involved. <laughs> exactly. Oh, man. Okay, so. We so. removed the temporary uh, belt thingy from down here. Yeah. I can see. Yeah, yeah. You can remove it. Okay. Um, yeah, anything that we're. Oh, you don't have anything yet up there where I can steal some belts. So not yet, not yet. You're back to handcrafting belts. No, no, no. I'm, I'm, I'm coming. I'm <laughs> getting the what? the iron very shortly. It is, it is traveling along the way. I'm just gonna go double check oh, my yeah, yeah, power. But I need it all the way down here, so I'll just handcraft some. Okay. Sounds good. I built all the million furnaces. Probably overdoing it by building both columns at the same time. But I'm just gonna build one, one completed, and then let the other one go for now. This is unfortunately also generating a lot of pollution in this area. Mm. Ooh, steel, steel. What should we should we go straight for the heavy armor? Yeah, it would be nice, but it's 50 steel. We probably can't even afford that. Or we can go for the electronics so that. We can afterwards get automation two because mm -hmm. automation two enables us to get the inserters or the assemblers for the inserters, right? So, so we're going to need it for the green signs. Okay, sounds great. We'll try an electronic one. Wow, wow, armor is so expensive 120. Good lord. Should I start working on some red and green science automation next? I think, yeah, red. Or, or red is there something else that's pressing? You know, we you're should. You're building the logistics, right? Uh, the belts and stuff. Yep, you have belts and undergrounds and maybe. Yep. Yeah, not yet the spittles, right? No, uh, yeah, no, uh, we need um, the blue blue assemblers for that. Yep, which is what we're taking towards now. Yep. I think I'll build a small green circuits array just real quick near the ammo production. Yep. Gonna... There we go. This yeah, green circuits design. are science. That's uh, that seems to be the next next thing up. Okay. Let me just put this like there. And now I just need to drag some coal all the way down to where I need it. Uh, yeah. Oh, and do let me know when we have a steel axe available to chop trees. Oh yeah, that's true. We should probably just build that. But I don't get any iron anymore because everything goes up north. Okay. So I actually have to come up to you. Yeah, let me give you those uh, mining drills that I built earlier. Okay. Delete this one. Sorry, I shouldn't be running away. Stand. <laughs> no, you should I'll be stand standing on, on, a belt. on a not belt anywhere. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, get this going there. Okay. Maybe we should put a little radar up here on yeah. your, your I, neck of the woods. I like having one at all corners of my base generally. Okay, there we go. I'm just stealing a lot of stuff from you now. Yeah, go ahead. Take take anything you need. That's what it's for. Uh, that's too much. You also need a ton of belts up and... Gonna need oh, lots of assemblers. Go. Just gonna do like a basic green circuit array here. I know there's not enough room to extend it, but should be good enough for now. Okay. Just to have something made for going. us. Yep. Let's look at pollution. Not expanding. We should actually be mindful of the power. But our. I haven't thought about. I'm power actually images. feeling that it's. Uh, it, mm. I'm actually concerned more about iron than I am about steel. I mean, steel is nice, 
Yeah. Iron is our bread and butter and we don't have enough of it. Agreed. So I'm I feel just... like we definitely need to expand iron more. Yep. So I think I'll prioritize that over the steel for now. Yep. Sounds good. So that'd be... Also, the steel takes 10 iron for one. That's uh, it's quite steep. That is very expensive. But luckily, it's actually, it fits with the formula, as you know. So it's still, it's still uh, oh, one steel furnace, or one steel crafting furnace and four mm -hmm. iron crafting. So that, that at least fits. Makes sense. There we go. So this is going to be iron. Ah oh, yes, got my new machines, hooray! New machines? Yeah, I, I was handcrafting some and it's like, have this huge queue of things that I'm crafting. So it was kind of like, oh, finally they're done, yay! Prince. I'm really running out of, of iron down here, but it's uh, mm -hmm. probably to be expected. Yeah. We have quite a lot of ammo made. We've got about 700 rounds in the box up here. That kind of lends itself to maybe it's time to start spending it. Yeah. Do you want to go and uh, kill some stuff? <laughs> Uh, not really, not really. <laughs> but I guess uh, <laughs> I guess it's hard for us to play uh, play a death world and then just say, well, yeah, well, let's adopt the live and let live attitude. That's right. Let the biters kill themselves, right? We don't participate in their wars. They'll, they'll choke on the pollution. Right? <laughs> they'll choke on the pollution. <laughs> no doubt. Oh my goodness, that's funny. Okay, I but just I'm... need, oh, you know what I need? I need copper. We need to get copper up here as well. Yep. Which I have we not do done have. yet. Uh, let me just lay oh, this I'll, out I'll bring bit. it up. Uh, yeah, is yeah this iron is really an issue. Let's see. Okay, this is copper going to come up there. Kind of wondering if I... have copper down here. Kind of looking at uh should we remove the science bit to get copper up here or should i just squiggle the belts around i guess i could squiggle why not i think we squiggle for now and then fix it when we remove this okay shouldn't be long Ooh, these guys are inserter lists to some degree as well oops is that uh, blinking sorry, lights which one? or is that just Oh, power is not doing well. I'm gonna go fix power. Okay. I'm gonna get the, um... And that requires a lot of iron. Which again, this is coming back to our nemesis here. Our iron. nemesis, <laughs> the lack of iron. Okay. Yeah, it's definitely not time to steal for steel yet. Yeah, I think I think you're iron. right. I think we definitely need to take that out. I'm gonna take apart this um, temporary. Green circuit array. Yep. I have way too much yes. copper in my inventory. Well, not too long ago you didn't have enough. So. This is true. This is true. You're right. But it always comes back to that, you know. Yep. Let's move this thing. Well, once you put it into the green circuit production, then suddenly you won't have any. <laughs> Indeed. That's where all the stuff from my pocket is going. Can I? Oh, I could be sneaky. Almost sneaky. Almost sneakiness. Oh. Me. Oh, 
Oh, yes. Steam engines like water. Hmm. Yeah, that's a surprise. <laughs> well, one of them should feed 20, uh, 20 engines, right? Yes. One, yeah. So. But they still need pipes. No, they don't need pipes. They can get it magically beamed to them. Have you not heard of this service? There we go. <laughs> there we go. That's the magical beam, uh, beam power here. Magical beaming is cool. Now, that's double the power production and double the pollution. Well, the that's good thing it is it's next to the uh, the lake there, so it shouldn't be too bad. Yep. yep. Or it'll just postpone it for later. Yes. The biters across the lake can eat our pollution. That's what I say. Well, we'll get to them when we have the nukes. That's right. Okay. Copper is now I being could... connected on the bus. Oops, I... It's doing quite a bit of latency here when I run down a belt. Like several tiles behind me that it's not picking it up. Oh no. Well, it's okay. Sorry about that. It is because we're on each side of the pond. Mm. But it's it's working. I mean, I'm still amazed by how well Factorio is made, mm -hmm. how efficient it's programmed, and yeah. Oh, indeed. And and how efficiently they they do releases. That is. Yeah, that I'm is just, just crazy. amazed. And you know, it's very very few bugs. Of course, they need a great population to test stuff, but you know it's been very, very stable for me, uh, multiplayer and single player as well. Because this is still the experimental version that we're not on. Uh, yeah. uh, and you know. it's been it's, it's been like I don't know a week a and week, six yeah. patches. So. A couple of weeks to, since uh, since the release, and yeah, mm -hmm. they just keep coming. Yep. bus has green circuits. Excellent. And then we have not very many two circuits. Iron but... thing is... <laughs> no, no, but, but there are some they're there. just accruing all the time. <laughs> exactly. And, and we have actually doubled the uh, iron production as well. Not quite because the input is still mm -hmm. pretty much the same. But it has been struggling the iron. So yep. It's about time to get it up. But I'm sure that no matter how fast I feed it to you, you will be converting it into gears or some other oh, yes. fancy things. I will take all of your iron. Yeah. Every single piece. And return a handful of, of uh, gears. That's right. Yeah, I'm, I'm was... amazed at the uh, the recipe values. It's it's pretty, pretty bad, I think. But when, you, when you're thinking about planning stuff, you have to plan in a much, much bigger way to get everything sorted out. And when you're saying it's pretty bad, you're apparently, of course, mean good. Yes, yes. Right? We're, we are yes. Factorio addicts. We, we, we complain bitterly, but we love it all the same. Yeah. And if anyone should ever think about dumbing this down, then you'll have an uproar. It's exactly. Just, no, it's not supposed to be easy. That's right. Just like adding train tutorials. I mean, where's the fun in that? I know, I know. Much more fun to it's figure a... it out yourself and crash a few trains in the process. Yeah. Okay, let's get this going. Right, so basically what I did was instead of having one iron furnace row or column of, mm -hmm. of uh, yeah, 12, I now just have two of six because the input is not much bigger anyway. Okay. So we're just. <laughs> okay. So it's more of a cosmetic a cosmetic thing right now. Okay, but, you know, just decorative yeah, yeah. furnaces. <laughs> That's yeah, it's just a, it generates twice as much pollution though. So we, That's there's true. that. Did, now maybe this is something I've I've added recently, but when placing belts, there's a small puff of smoke. Is that always there? 
You know, I noticed it very prominently myself. And I don't know if it's new or they made it like more prominent or maybe I'm, I just always build when zoomed out. But it mm -hmm. seems kind of newish. Maybe it just after point fifteen, I re-enabled the steam from uh, the smoke, and uh -huh. maybe it's part of that. Layer. Well, I I always had mine enabled, okay. so um, that's you know I always like the steam from steam engines and stuff, so I'm yes. not sure. Oops, our science died a bit, but that's uh, just maybe. Hopefully, that's the last time we feed it ourselves. I'm so pleased. Look, we have green circuits. They're great. We like green circuits. They're building up too. Oh, this is a, it, that's a decent amount considering the, the mm. base here. Let me help you relieve you of a full belt. <laughs> of those horrible green circuits taking up the, yeah. base, the belt. Yes. Yeah, soon your nice little factory won't even produce anymore exactly. if I don't help you out. Gotta have it sorted. And we are just paving right through a uranium deposit. That's... Uh, well... That's, we can go over it. We can just. I'm pretty sure we have a solution when that gets relevant. Oh, yes. Because it's. it's no uh, doubt. We'll find a way. It's looking good. Um, yep. Now would be the time to. I really wanted to do the steel, but apparently we didn't have enough iron, so there's no point in doing steel when we don't have enough iron. No. And, but now we do have enough, or not enough, but we have more. We have more. I think it's, what is it, like 20 <laughs> furnaces operating at this point. That's better. That's good. It's not too no, bad. 40. 20 Yay. on each. Let's get rid of some of this ore. I'm going to clear off more of this patch here for iron. Because we can always use more. Yep. Yes. And this one down here, I'm clearing that out for uh, the mm -hmm. steel. I think that'll be two long rows of... Do we have any little bits of steel that we can turn into axes? <laughs> yeah, we do. Oh, I do think we? I the top the top two here. Okay. I put, uh, put in some iron bits. Yes, you can take it from the other one. Oh, okay. Oh. Nice. That should be enough for one steel axe. <laughs> I put in all my iron, so I have the steel but no iron. <laughs> yeah. Oh my goodness. This game. Okay, so one steel axe coming up. Yay! Yep, uh, I'm just. Uh, no, I'm not even putting it to work. I have this thing where I, I paid for that pick for the pickaxe, so mm -hmm. I'm gonna wear it out. Even though I have a steel axe, just, ah, I can't, I can't well, just throw it away. It was well, worth money back then. It was worth money back then. Well, the thing is, is I, I also paid for my iron axe. Um, but right now, the steel axe is looking shiny and it's winking at me. So I'm going to keep the iron axe in my inventory, but I'm going to use the steel axe to actually work with. <laughs> mm, I'm like sure someone would, uh, you know, someone would have some conclusions about our <laughs> attachment to uh, the tools we have. Oh, my goodness. Well, I mean, you definitely get um, attached to tools when you're working with some Bob's Mods diamond pickaxes and things. That might be nice to have. That's true. Yeah. Poison capsules would be nice about now, too. For, uh, yeah, but then again, For trees. poison capsules are not exactly free. No. Nope. And now we would be using them just to clear forest. Mm -hmm. At some point, that's the right decision, but uh, it, it also just hurts a bit. Well, and the other thing we could do, we could just get flamethrowers. We should we should prioritize oil research. <laughs> yep. Oh, goodness. All right. Um, let me get some iron so we can increase this uh, iron production a bit. I think we do need to increase production because, you know... Otherwise, we are going to have no technology if we have no production. Correct. And we can't have better weapons unless we have production. Nope. I've, a vicious circle. We, we do have a... I, I think this iron is okay for now. I mean, of course, the, a lot, everything will be need to be filled up the chests. And it's going to take a lot and fill up the belts. Mm -hmm. uh, that's just going to take a bit of, uh, of, of filling up. So. Okay. The only thing is we haven't built any... Um, 
you haven't built science yet, so no. we need to I'm build science. Building, yeah. But uh, anyway, I think that might be something we are we are gonna dive into next time. Maybe one of us builds uh, steel, one of us builds the science. Okay. Because uh, that's probably all we can make in in this episode. I think so. Time to call it quits for now. Yes, I'll just end up by steaming all the iron. <laughs> there we go. Nice. Okay. All right. So, well, go ahead. That was me, right? No, nope, that was you. I yeah. think so. Okay. So, thank you very much for joining. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope you'll be joining us in the next episode. All right. Thank take you. care, everyone. Bye.